Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Tree and in today's video we are going to learn about the composite pattern in the subject of design patterns and this composite design pattern is one of the structural design pattern. Okay, so now uh, let's see what is the intent, what is the motivation and so on. So coming to intent, compose objects into tree structures. It will compose the objects into tree structures. That means simply it will organize the objects in form of a tree to represent the part whole hierarchies which means part and whole which is a part and which is the whole hierarchies and also composite will let client treat individual objects and compositions of objects in uniformly that means in a single object and a composition of objects that means the object which is formed by uh, integration of two or more objects you know those kind of objects and also the objects which are existing singly both of them will be treated equally both of them will be treated uniformly that is the concept of the composite design pattern okay composite uh, design pattern will composes the objects into tree structures by to represent the part and whole hierarchies and also it will uh, allow the client it will show the uh, show the individual objects and also the composition of objects uniformly to the client okay so that is the intent of the composite design pattern okay now here we don't we don't have any also known as section so let us see what is the motivation for this uh, you know composite design pattern so what actually uh, is the motivation what you what you we will uh, come to know is in the tree in a tree structure the branch nodes that means the intermediate nodes and the leaf nodes the bottommost nodes should be treated uniformly should be treated in an equal way that means suppose this is a tree structure these are the branch nodes right again you'll have leaves for these branches so this level and this level both of them should be treated uniformly that is what uh, composite design pattern will tell us right so let us take an example of file system in file system so let us take this as the file system so these are all the folders right file system will have folders and in each folder there will be multiple number of files so here folders are the branch nodes and files are the leaf nodes so here folder is a complex object why because it has more than one file it is a com like uh, more than one files or more than one folders within it it will have but whereas the file is a simple object right so this is a complex ob object or you can say it is a uh, composite object and it is a single object so here composite pattern will define an interface it will give us an interface in which both the composite objects and the single objects will be seated uh, will be treated in a uniform way will be treated in the same way okay so here you can simply say that you will define an interface which will treat uh, the composite objects and also the independent individual objects in the same way okay and applicability so where uh, you can use this composite design pattern the applicability is when you want to represent the part whole hierarchies of the objects okay so when you want to represent the part whole hierarchies that is what we have learned in the intent right so in the intent section we learned about this and we want client to treat composite objects and single objects independently that is what we have learned previously as well right so when you want to uh, both uh, when you want your client to treat both composite and single objects independently then in that situation you can use this composite design pattern okay now moving on to the structure of the composite design pattern let us see uh, what all we have in the structure of the composite design pattern and what all you have in the participant section so yeah this is the structure of the composite design pattern okay here you have client what client will do client will manipulate the object in the composition by using the composite interface okay component interface so first you here you have the component the component is different and composite is different right so what component will do means it will declare the interface for the objects in the composition so whatever the objects are present in the composition for that objects this component will declare the interface okay next and here we have the leaf right so this leaf will represent all the leaf objects which are present in the composition and this cannot have any children further because this is the uh, you know this is the last level of the tree right so here you cannot have any children further and this leaf will represent the leaf objects which are present in the composition 
okay the next after leaf what do we have we have the composite so what composite will do it will define the behavior for components having children so whoever are the components are having children for those components it will define the behavior of those components okay so here the component will declare the interface for the objects that are participating in the composition and leaf will represent all the leaf nodes all the leaf objects and this composite will define the behavior for components who are having children okay so this is the structure here you have the client component leaf and the composite what this client will do he will manipulate the objects which are participating in the composition by using the component interface okay so this is all about the structure of the composite design pattern very simple client component leaf composite client wait uh, we will discuss about the client last day first composite component what component will do component will define an interface for what it will not define it will declare an interface for what it will declare an interface for the objects which are participating in the composition okay and after this we have leaf what leaf will do leaf will represent all the leaf objects present in the composition okay and then next comes the composite what composite will do composite will define the behavior of for the components who are having children that means how they have to uh, like how the composition takes place and how the children are created and all those things will be defined in this composite okay so component leaf composite and client done so now after the structure we are we will uh, this is the structure and participant section right so now after this we have the consequences so let us see what are the consequences of uh, you know this composite design pattern so coming to the consequences it defines the class hierarchies containing primitive objects and composite objects so that is what a uh, pattern whole means right indirectly so the next is makes the client simple it makes the client simple makes it easier to add new kinds of components because the single components and single objects and composite objects are treated equally so you can easily add new kinds of components also even though you you add new kinds of components also there will be no change in the design and the design is general you know simple design which you can easily understand so i mean there will be a generalized design for both single components and also composite uh, components right because both of them are treated equally so you need not specify a separate design for this and a separate design for this so general design for both of them okay so this is about the consequences so consequences are nothing but simply you can say results so results will come under the consequences they may be good or they may be bad it's not that always consequences means advantages or disadvantages sometimes they'll be good sometimes they'll be bad okay you'll include both advantages and disadvantages in this so what are the consequences it will define the class hierarchies it will make the client simple you can easily add um, new kinds of components and also the uh, design is very general done so these are the consequences and after consequences let's learn about the implementation so explicit parent references so what do you mean by explicit parent references is nothing but you will be maintaining uh, references to the parents from the child so that it will simplify the management of the composite structure so uh, every child will maintain a reference to its parent and because of this reason you know the management of the composite design pattern will become easier and it will also have some sharing components why do it sh why do we need sharing in order to manage the storage okay creating a ind individual object for each and every time is not possible right so it will have the shared components so that you can manage the storage maximizing the component interface and the next one is the declaring the child management operations and also the child ordering and also uh, caching to improve performance we do data caching in order to improve the performance and also deleting the components so whatever the unwanted components are there you keep on deleting those components so that you'll be uh, remaining with only required components okay so these are the implementation part explicit parent references sharing components and also maximizing the component interface and also declaring the child management operations child ordering caching to improve performance and deleting the components so these are the implementation uh, you know the thing tools and techniques that you use to implement this composite design pattern so now after implementation let us see what are the uh, known uses and what are the related patterns so coming to known uses you use this in small talk mvc this is very common you see it in all this times rtl small talk compiler framework and also in financial domain so in these three cases you'll be using the concept of composite design pattern okay what is the main concept of composite de design pattern 
uh, it will represent the part and whole hierarchies and also it will give us a way to treat both single components and composite components in a equal way in a uniform way okay so this is all about the composite design pattern and let us see what are the related patterns number one is chain of responsibility chain of responsibility is a behavioral design pattern that you'll be learning later and the decorator decorator is again a structural one you'll be learning about the decorator in the next coming video and flyweight is also a structural design pattern and the next one you have is the iterator iterator is again a behavioral one and the visitor design pattern visitor is also a behavioral design pattern so uh, you will get to know uh, like when you learn the definition of each and every design pattern which is mentioned here then you will get to know how this particular composite design pattern is related to these design patterns okay so done uh, so that's all for this video let's meet up soon in the next coming video in the next video i'll be explaining about the decorated design pattern uh, so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them as well and if you're still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to cla uh, clarify all your doubts for sure. And that's all for this video. And if you have understood the video clearly, hit the like button. Do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications whenever I post a video. And that's all for this video. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic. And thank you for watching my video.